to this image in this case you can see that there is herniation in the lumbar region of posterior abdominal wall so whenever there is herniation in the lumbar region of posterior abdominal wall this is known as what lumbar hernia so what happens here there is herniation in lumbar hernia there is herniation here herniation in lumbar region there is herniation in lumbar region of posterior abdominal wall clear it is more common on left side so you can see in the image more common on left side what are the types it can be congenital or acquired in 20 percent cases it is congenital and in 80 percent cases it is acquired so lumbar hernia it is congenital this is congenital in 20 percent cases and it is acquired in 80 percent cases so it is acquired acquired in 80 percent cases clear now there are two triangles via which herniation occurs there is superior triangle of greenfield and there is inferior triangle of petit most of the hernias are going to occur via superior triangle of greenfield because this space is relatively larger but in bailey it's wrongly written that most of the lumbar hernias are occurring via triangle of petit that's wrongly given in bailey what is the correct statement most of the hernias are occurring via superior triangle of greenfield so the questions are asked that what are the boundaries of superior triangle of greenfield and what are the boundaries of inferior triangle of petit now first see what are the boundaries of superior triangle of greenfield most of the hernias are occurring via this superior triangle of greenfield so most of the hernias are occurring via this superior triangle of greenfield clear in this case you can see the boundaries here you can see this is paraspinal muscle so what happens posteriorly there is paraspinal muscle superiorly you can see this is 12th rib superiorly 12th rib and anteriorly you can see what internal oblique muscle so you saw here posteriorly in superior triangle of greenfield posteriorly there is paraspinal muscle it is paraspinal muscle superiorly you saw there is 12th rib so superiorly there is 12th rib clear and anteriorly there is internal oblique anteriorly there is internal oblique muscle internal oblique muscle got it since this space is relatively larger so most of the hernias are occurring via superior triangle of greenfield it's a question so most hernias most lumbar hernias most lumbar hernias are occurring via hernias these are occurring via superior triangle superior triangle of greenfield clear superior triangle of greenfield now see the inferior triangle of petit here you can see this is the hernia content which is lumbar hernia the content which is being herniated in this case you can see here this is the hernia in this case if you see the boundaries in this image you can see posteriorly there is latissimus dorsi anteriorly this is external oblique muscle and inferiorly this iliac crest is there so this is known as inferior triangle of petit so name of this triangle this is known as inferior triangle of petit petit here posteriorly large muscle is there latissimus dorsi so posteriorly there is latissimus dorsi anteriorly there is external oblique muscle anteriorly there is external oblique and inferiorly there is iliac crest inferiorly there is iliac crest got it so in exam most of the questions are revolving around these two triangles they are asking mainly the boundaries of superior triangle of greenfield and inferior triangle of petit clear another important point in these cases what happens patient is not aware that he is having hernia why because here the size of defect is larger and if size of defect is larger patient is not aware of some patients are coming to us telling us that sir i am having unilateral bulge in the lumbar region so the presentation is patient comes to you with unilateral bulge in the lumbar region usually on which side on the left side so if the size of defect is very large tell me which complication is rare so strangulation it's very rare so because of large defect most patients are unaware that they are having hernia if patient comes to you there is unilateral bulge in the lumbar region so patient comes to you with 
यूनिलैटरल बल्ज इन लंबर रीजन इन लंबर रीजन क्लियर एंड विच कॉम्प्लिकेशन इज रेयर सो हियर सिंस द साइज ऑफ डिफेक्ट इज लार्ज स्ट्रेंगुलेशन इज रेयर इन दीज पेशेंट्स स्ट्रेंगुलेशन इट्स रेयर बिकॉज द साइज ऑफ डिफेक्ट इज लार्ज नाउ कमिंग टू द ट्रीटमेंट देर इज अ नेम ऑफ हर्निया वॉट्स अ नेम ऑफ हर्निया रिपेयर सो इट्स अ स्पेशल नेम वॉट्स अ नेम इट्स दाउद्स ऑपरेशन इट लुक्स लाइक दैट इट्स द ऑपरेशन फॉर कैचिंग दाउद सो वट इज द नेम ऑफ ऑपरेशन द नेम ऑफ ऑपरेशन फॉर लंबर हर्निया दिस इज दाउद्स ऑपरेशन नेम ऑफ ऑपरेशन दैट इज दाउद्स ऑपरेशन 